Canada have filed child pornography charges against two men in connection with a case of a 17-year-old who committed suicide. According to the victim's family, she hanged herself after she was gang raped and bullied online. Carolyn Ray spoke to the Morning family in this report. World. A Halifax teen dead after telling her parents she had been sexually assaulted at a party by several boys. Retea Parsons was just 16 when the alleged incident occurred. She told her family a photo of that day was being spread online and she was being tormented by bullies. How fast this destroyed my daughter was just unbelievable. She, she never recovered from it. Then this morning, a phone call. Two males in custody. I, I felt like crying. I, I felt like running. I, I just felt like... And at the same time, you know, you feel, uh, you feel sad because my daughter's never going to know that sense of justice. She'll never know that. Initially, the RCMP and Halifax police closed the case. Her family, heartbroken, were vocal in their campaign for justice. Her mother said at the time that police failed her daughter. And she wants someone to believe her. And nobody did. It sparked protests, vigils, and threats of vigilantism. The province called for investigations into the school board and the local hospital where Rateo was treated in the mental health unit. As the furor grew, a tip came in. Police reopened the file. Uh, the investigators are certainly going to want to take as much time as necessary, and that would go for any investigation, let alone uh, Retea Parsons, because this was a tragic event. Uh, police, uh, this has been played out in the public. Obviously, I just want to say how pleased we are to see that progress is being made. Uh, I hope uh, uh, this will uh, provide some measure of comfort to the, the family. Police say they don't know yet if any more arrests will be made, but with intense scrutiny around the world, they're trying to keep every detail possible under wraps. Carolyn Ray, CBC News, Halifax. Well, time now to take another break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the sports news stage and then. Feature is everyone's business. And that feature includes a property well located with facilities that guarantee a better life for you and your family. Universal Properties is the property partner for all your property needs. Our properties are well located and carefully selected to match your taste and style. Truly Gambian, Universal Properties prides itself with experience in the property business with excellent client to customer relations. Universal Properties is a real estate company dealing with uh, properties, rental, sales, leasing to the Gambian people and the people in the diaspora. We have land available for everyone, both the Gambian in the diaspora and home. You can contribute as little as £100 or $100. Remember, however you stay away, one day is a trip to go home. And then we are here to give you that chance that day to, to, to arrive in your own home. contract <laughs> You need a photocopy of the ID or passport, then with two passport size photos, then a little deposit for the system, maybe then you can Visit Universal Properties today on FIB building along the Keraba Avenue. Universal Properties, your innovative property solutions providers. Well, we apologize that we would not be able to bring you the sports news and uh, we'll now bring you the closing headlines. President Jame has exercised his prerogative of mercy. On a day, the Gambians joined the rest of the Muslim world to observe Idil Fitri. The Youths for Agriculture and Fishing Initiative, Yafi, have continued their tour of fishing sites in their bid to encourage massive youth participation in the fisheries sector. U.S. drone strikes are in intensifying in Yemen, killing 13 people as the State Department continues its evacuation of diplomats in its embassies across the Middle East and Africa. And uh, two men in Canada are standing trial for child pornography and rape charges following the death of a 17-year-old girl allegedly gang raped and bullied by the accused. That brings us to the end of the news. Thank you very much for your time. We'll be back, inshallah, at 2200 hours with more news. Meanwhile, enjoy our programs.